with fabulous beaches, ancient ruins, alluring culture, dynamic cities, colonial architecture, and feisty mouth-watering cuisine, Mexico truly is a tropical treasure trove. Hot, dense jungles offer visitors a chance to see flora and fauna that they've only dreamed of seeing up close. It has everything that explorers are looking for. But as you're about to see, Mexico has so much more. From weird, wild, and wonderful, to terrible, terrifying, and terrific, see it to believe it here now. 15 Shocking Things Recently Discovered in Mexico A shocking beam strikes the pyramids. During a family trip to the Mayan city of Chichen Itza, Los Angeles resident Hector Salizer got more than he bargained for when all he wanted was to snap a couple of cool pictures. What his camera captured in Mexico shocked the whole world. It all took place during a sudden lightning storm above the El Castillo Pyramid. Hector's group was casually exploring and taking touristy photos until they decided to get some shots of the lightning. What Hector managed to get on film instead was a solid beam of light that appears to be erupting towards the heavens. Could this be the work of something out of this world? Or maybe it's just a trick of the light? Jonathan Hill, a researcher at NASA's Mars Imagery, doesn't think the image is photoshopped, but he also doesn't think a beam of light actually came out of the pyramid, at least not in the way that we can see on the screen. His theory is that Hector's iPhone managed to activate a common lightning glitch because of the intensity of the lightning strike. In a sense, Hector did manage to get a picture of lightning like he wanted, but his camera sensors couldn't properly process it. Jonathan Hill thinks that either an entire column of pixels offset their values or an internal reflection from the camera lens might have been recorded by mistake. Other experts agree that the extra brightness from the lightning would likely mess the shot up on a standard iPhone. No one in Hector's group saw the beam of light, strengthening Hill's argument. So maybe it's just a technological trick of the light. Or maybe what we're looking at is something that needs a bit more investigating. Fasten your seatbelts because it's time for today's sweet topic. What a camera captures in Mexico terrifies the whole world. Call us crazy, but this huge net looks as if it has some sort of winged being caught up in it. Is it some sort of creature, like a fairy, believed to be of Mexican origin? Most cultures throughout the world have stories of folklore involving smaller, magical beings that live secretly among humans. The notion of a Tinkerbell-like fairy who flies around granting wishes and who serves as an unseen helper of people is deeply rooted in many Western European cultures. It was only after a marked rise in literacy did fairy stories come out in print and books telling tales of the fairies we can easily recognize today. Ancient Mexico had its own beliefs regarding unseen little people that closely approximate what many would consider members of a fairy race, and those ancient beliefs are still held by some people living in Mexico to this day. Given the rarity of fairy sightings in Mexico and the disappearance of most of the evidence surrounding cases of fairies, one might want to think seriously about whether or not these are all just poorly conducted hoaxes on a gullible Mexican public. Or maybe not. Could whatever has been captured in this net be evidence of those fairies? Use the comment section to share your ideas. Hashtag sweet topic. Chichen Itza chirps. We're sticking around Chichen Itza for this next interesting phenomena that should shock you. In the Kukukan Temple, a pre-Columbian archaeological site, experts have been stumped over the acoustics for decades. The stone temple appears to have the ability to imitate the sounds of local birds. <laughs> The sounds are often compared to the call of the local Quetzal birds. It only happens when you clap in just the right spot for the echoes to distort it. It seems that the steps of the temple have what is commonly referred to as a Bragg diffraction grafting, or in simpler terms, a sound distortion using waves of lights. Crazy, right? The sound bounces around the light from the crystals of the stones using the arranged atoms for diffraction to spread out. No one is actually sure if these sounds were initially part of the temple design, Maybe they're just a really cool effect that was discovered afterwards. If you're beating a drum instead of clapping, for example, the sound will be very different from a bird call. Footsteps throughout the temple also sound very similar to raindrops, which some researchers think may have connections to the rain gods worshipped at the time. The Wailing Witch La Llorona 
A viral video on TikTok has recently set some alarm bells off in the overly superstitious. In this short clip, we're taking to a large tree somewhere in Mexico, where we hear a loud wailing sound, something deep and unsettling that doesn't seem quite human, but more animalistic. We also see a strange shadowy shape, likely a woman, hiding in the branches at the top of the tree. The video has a simple description, stating, a witch was seen in Mexico. But most comments have come to one unanimous conclusion. This is the work of La Llorona. She's called the Wailing Woman in English and has been a well-known myth among fans of the horror community for a long while. The true legend, however, goes even further than any Hollywood film would dare touch. La Llorona is said to be one of ten dark omens that foretold the conquest of Mexico, but she also has some deeper roots that trace all the way back to the Aztec goddesses. Siwakoati, the snake woman, is said to appear in white during the night, weeping and wailing. Chauchu Ticle, try saying that ten times fast, is a goddess of water and rain, something else La Llorona is known for. Both goddesses are recognized as divine creatures to be feared, omens of war and darkness, cursing those unlucky enough to cross their paths. Many mythical researchers assume these Aztec goddesses are the origins for the Mexican spirit of the same nature, but could this video really be that same creature, La Llorona in the spiritual flesh? Hopefully none of us have become cursed for watching it. <laughs> Mexican mayor marries Gator Weddings are most commonly built on tradition, some of which can get pretty out there. You may think your family has some crazy wedding exceptions, but unless you've been to San Pedro Wabelula, you definitely haven't experienced one like this. In an effort to bring prosperity to the community, Victor Hugo Sosa, the local mayor, officiated a wedding for an alligator bride. Talk about bridezilla! The tradition predates Hispanic culture, where the alligator, wearing a fully outfitted white wedding gown, is believed to be a deity representing Mother Earth. The wedding acts as a prayer for nature's bounty, celebrating the many gifts they believe to be bestowed upon them. During the ceremony, the alligator, who goes by the name of Little Princess, had its mouth bound shut to avoid any nasty bites or unexpected situations. Locals would then carry the bride and dance with her during the ceremony, as one would with an actual bride. The local people appreciate the wedding as something beautiful, but also a nice time to come together and be thankful for what they have. If you ask us, it's still a bit weird though. Holy Hairball Hiding in a Hole Viewers, beware. Some discretion is advised for this next clip if you're afraid of creepy crawlies, especially tiny ones. This video, taken in a cave near the town of Alamos in Mexico, shows two hikers approaching what looks to be a large nest. The hikers were curious when they saw the strange fuzzy thing moving in the corner, thinking it to be some kind of sleeping animal. And what's the best course of action when dealing with wild sleeping animals? Apparently, poking it with a stick. You're probably as shocked by the sight as we are, but at least you have the comfort of sitting behind a screen. After some investigation, the millions of tiny creatures were classified as falsity, otherwise known as cellar spiders or daddy long legs, and they were not very happy to be disturbed. Fortunately, they pose no threat to humans and have no poisonous venom to be worried about, but still, they're shockingly spooky to look at. The viral video was viewed more than 1.6 million times, with commenters claiming, I had seven heart attacks after seeing this video. Maybe think twice next time you go out and decide to poke something with a stick. <laughs> Snake on a plane No, we're not referring to a movie, but an actual real-life event that happened and caused a swift, expedited landing in Mexico City. Picture this, you're sitting comfortably or uncomfortably in your seat on a long flight when you look up and spot a green serpentine stowaway crawling out of an overhead bin. That's right, aboard an Aero Mexico plane ride, a non-venomous snake snuck out of its container and tried roaming around for a bit. According to the Associated Press, the snake was over three feet long and trapped by some amazingly brave flight attendants. Some passengers unbuckled their seats and stood up to get a better view of what was going on but thankfully, mass panic didn't break out. Fortunately, the flight was already near its destination and the abrupt landing in Mexico was not too much of a delay. The flight was given priority landing so the snake could be shuttled off the plane by animal services. It's still unknown how this snake escaped and managed to wander about for as long as it could. Officials say they're investigating the situation and will do their best to make sure something like this doesn't happen again. We sure hope so. 
deep water fish invading the coast. Although the ocean is full of life and mysteries, it's not every day that you stumble on a new scientific breakthrough. That makes what these lucky ecotourists found especially shocking. While kayaking in the shallow waters off the Baja coast in Mexico, they came across a very real and elusive deep water oarfish. The elusive oarfish is a type of aquatic creature with a pug-like face and eel-type body. They can dive over 3,000 feet below the water surface and grow up to 50 feet long. That's roughly the size of a five-story building. Ancient mariners have often described them as sea serpents while sailing into the deep. Even today, these fish are rarely discovered by humans alive. Most of what modern scientists know about oarfish comes from finding their bodies washed up on a beach. Thankfully, that wasn't the case for these guys. The tourists were surprised to see the two fish swimming so close to the shore, but were still able to get this stunning footage. The fish were later taken in by the shed aquarium that the family was touring with. The fish were then revealed to be around 15 feet long each. Next time you go out into the ocean, we highly suggest bringing a camera. You might just get a chance to find a rare, undocumented fish. How to Train Your Nightjar They say the whole point of fantasy is that it isn't real. But if that's the case, how do you explain this shocking creature? If you've ever seen that hit animated movie, How to Train Your Dragon, you might think this little guy looks familiar. But instead of a night fury, this small nocturnal bird is called a great-eared nightjar. Many people often mistake the nightjar for a weird-looking squirrel or even a lizard, hence the dragon references. But no, it's a bird native to the tropical and subtropical forests of Asia, which is why finding one in the wilds of Mexico was quite the surprise. The nightjar is a very vulnerable species, often relying on camouflage to hide from enemies and predators. They typically nest on the ground, hidden in well-placed leaves and shrubs, this leads to the theory of why this type of bird looks so lizard and dragon-like. Its intimidation is one of its best tools. It also might be another connecting layer between birds and reptiles. So next time you decide to watch How to Train Your Dragon, maybe you'll think of this little guy. <laughs> History Beneath a Hotel It seems like there's no shortage of ancient mysteries behind the culture of modern Mexican society. Archaeologists have recently revealed their discovery of a vast Aztec temple hidden beneath a 1950s hotel in the heart of Mexico City. The temple is built to look a lot like a coiled snake in order to honor Yectal, a wind god worshipped by the Aztecs as the creator who breathed life into mankind. The temple is recorded at 500 years old and been excavated and researched for at least seven years before any information was made public. The temple was likely never used again after the Spaniards arrived and changed the entire landscape. Most of the Aztec ruins still lie beneath Mexico City, though hardly any of it is still intact. You can check it out for yourself, but probably not right away. There are plans in motion to build a museum and incorporate this newly rediscovered temple for tourists. The hotel is still in business though and there are no shortages of Aztec ruins to investigate, so feel free to stop by as soon as you can. If you find anything shocking or undiscovered, be sure to drop us a line and maybe we'll even feature your discovery in another shocking video. The Unsettling Creature of the Deep Now this creature might be the creepiest one yet. Let's get it out of the way and address it and we're not sure entirely what this creature is. It looks similar to a dolphin with razor sharp teeth, kind of like a shark, but it's missing most of the defining traits that we're used to identifying either of those creatures of the sea. As you can tell, this night terror of the deep doesn't appear to have any eyes or fins, but a very long tail. Reports say that people who found it were originally under the impression that they found a beach dolphin. They changed their minds the moment they got close enough to really get a good look at it. It was discovered by locals on the Pacific coastline in Mexico. There are rumors that it comes from deep in the depths of the Pacific Ocean, which actually does hold up. The deeper and darker you dive towards the bottom of the ocean, the more likely you are to find blind and eyeless fish that have no need for sight in an environment without light. These fish also tend to have razor-sharp teeth, presumably because their bodies and the bodies of their prey are much more solid to deal with the intense pressure near the center of the earth. There's some speculation that the image is fake, which is comforting in its own way, but we can definitely claim that it's something very, very shocking to see. <laughs> Mammoth Bones We've said it before, but Mexico sure does seem to have a lot of buried beneath it. 
Excavators recently found these huge mammoth bones while digging to install a drain pipe in a village just outside of Mexico City. The bones belong to a Colombian mammoth, and they even include the tusks. These types of mammoths were common to North and Central America several thousands of years ago before going extinct. This particular mammoth is thought to be in the ballpark of around 14,000 years old. That's a lot of missed birthday parties. Archaeologists that investigated the bones also think the mammoth's death may have been natural. The bones were scattered and not in the original shape they should have been in, suggesting that something or someone may have cut the animal up after its death. Humans did a lot of mammoth hunting back in our primitive days, so this does sound to be a likely story. Other mammoth bones were often found nearby, presumably because of a saltwater lake that no longer exists. The salt water would trick mammoths into drinking, which is strangely enough a great way to preserve their remains. Secret Tunnel Under the Border In this case of what was discovered underground in Mexico, a group of drug smugglers apparently bought a plot of land specifically to hide a 400-yard tunnel that leads directly to a restaurant in Mexico. They spent $240,000 in California and built the house over the tunnel to keep it hidden. The entrance to the tunnel begins at the restaurant in Mexicali and exits inside the built home in Calexico. Those are both real cities, by the way. Feel free to look them up. The tunnel is said to be around 400 yards, the same as four football fields in length. It's one of 75 U.S. to Mexico tunnels found in the last decade. The ground and soil there is much harder and more difficult to dig through. Plus, it's within a residential area. Not exactly prime real estate for an easy job, but then again, no one claimed drug smuggling was easy work. The owners and drug smugglers were all arrested and offices are still keeping an eye out for anyone who might try to access the tunnel. For now, we'll just stick to honest work above ground. <coughs> Mystery Behind the Erupting Volcano Popocatapetl is the name of a highly active volcano in Mexico that erupted in January 2020. Many eyes were on it as the eruption kicked off, but some people were paying attention to something else happening on camera at the time. On one live stream from government-operated webcams, just after an exploding fireball launched smoke and ash into the air, a strange light was seen soaring across the volcano. It was small and unclear and pretty quick in a blink and miss it kind of way. But all of this adds to great conspiracy chatter on the internet. The light is technically a UAP. Many are speculating that it could be an alien spaceship, while others presume that it might be a shooting star or a meteorite. There are other videos of similar occurrences over the years, some of which have made it to the news shows and other mainstream sources. But the footage often used is blurry, vague, and very difficult to identify, making it a hard case to solve. But that's probably what the aliens want us to think. Pyramids you won't find anywhere else. The thing about pyramids is that they're usually made up of triangles, right? Well, these ones are a bit different. The round pyramids of Guadalajara are named Los Guanchimontones and have been around for approximately 2,000 years. Not much was known about them until they were rediscovered in 1969 and later were excavation entered in 1996. Conspiracy theories were abundant in those days that they were tourist traps built to make money and some even saying aliens constructed them. Eventually, researchers were able to put those theories to rest and prove not only how old they are, but that they were built by the culture that thrived in that valley between 300 to 900 AD. That being said, not much is known about them other than their name directly translates to a place for the divine. Maybe those conspiracies weren't as far off as we thought. Aside from one other small pyramid in Mexico City, these are the only round pyramids you can find anywhere in the world. The tallest one stands at more than 60 feet and 52 steps, in relation to the amount of weeks in a year. Further investigations have found that most of these pyramids were built with a central altar that included a post hole to be used during rituals. Pole ceremonies were apparently important to the culture and its community. Leaders would often climb the pole as a devotional act towards a deity. The pyramids have undergone reconstruction with an accompanying interpretive center intended to teach people about lost Mexican culture. <laughs> Defenders of the Deep If you're a huge fan of art and museums, you better grab your diving gear for this one. Go Museo Subacuatico de Arte or 
Musa is possibly the largest and most amazingly ambitious underwater art attraction in the entire world. It can be found near Cancun. The galleries are split into two sections. The first is for diving and snorkeling, while the second is exclusively meant for just snorkeling. That's right, in order to see these sculptures, you have to dive underwater for quite a while. Over 90 fishermen and women helped to construct it in a way that defends the sea from large amount of visitors. The sculptures, for instance, are made from long-lasting pH-neutral cement that's capable of promoting natural coral growth. The statues are positioned downstream from natural reefs to help the coral settle. The museum is regularly monitored because of the way it forms a complex reef structure for marine life to colonize. The statue figures are inspired by 90 real-life models from a close fishing village of Puerto Morelos, in a sense creating a community of people defending their oceans. The man-made reef is home to at least 2,000 juvenile corals and hopefully will continue to grow. That's a wrap on all of these shocking discoveries that Mexico has to offer. We're clearly only scratching the tip of the iceberg, especially seeing how much is still being buried underneath the mysterious country. If digging is your passion, maybe you'll be next to uncover a hidden temple or a set of mammoth bones. Whatever you find, be sure to share it with us and we'll make another video about even more shocking things found in Mexico.